Give this a second to connect here. Should be a few second delay from the connection here. So, all right, it's showing up. All right, everybody, thanks for joining in today on one of the first live connections that we're doing um, on with somebody else on, on YouTube. So thanks for joining in today. And today we have Acme Arrow all the way up in the great big NC, which I call NASCAR country. So uh, guys, introduce yourselves real quick. Hey, everybody. Uh, Brian, we appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate this opportunity. I know it's new for uh, you as well for us. And uh, we're uh, we're actually in the office of Airborne Tactical. Uh, we've got Will uh, and Eric here with us. Uh, we, we're excited uh, to uh, launch our new product. Uh, we've we've got a, a, a lot of great things to talk about. Um, it's something we've been passionate about here for uh, quite some time, developing it together with Airborne. And uh, it's been a great partnership. And uh, uh, like I said, we uh, we just we, we wanted an outlet to do it. You're you're willing to do it, uh, and uh, we look forward to it. So here we go. Excellent. Well, I've been kind of out of the loop too. You guys mentioned there's something new, and I, I don't even know exactly the details <laughs> of this. They've been keeping under wraps for this whole week. I'm like, tell me more. Tell me more. All right. So, so let, let me let me let me give you a quick background of how this all went down. So. Uh, this is uh, obviously racing country here. And, uh, um, you know, whenever you hear about somebody in the aviation industry close to you, uh, we want to be friends with them. Right. And um, so uh, Will here has been in the aviation world for quite some time and uh, he'll go into the, his background. And, uh, and we're always looking to make improvements in the back country, uh, flying community and make things safer. Our, our company, uh, has always stood fast on making things safe. And, uh, and we couldn't think of a better thing, uh, to, to add to our product line and to, uh, offer to the Bush community than a, uh, uh, we feel like one of the safest helmets, uh, in the industry. And we got data to, to, uh, back that up and to prove it. So, uh, uh, we, me and Will met each other and uh, he told me what he had going on. We told him what we had going on. He's in the military world. We're in the GA world. He didn't want nothing to do with GA and we didn't want nothing to do with military uh, on the helmet side. So we partnered together uh, to develop a, uh, a GA helmet for the, 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 not only the bush plane world, but the sport pilots, uh, the, the ag guys, the, um, the, you know, we have a lot of different options that we're going to show you. Uh, this is a very modular piece of equipment uh, for you. And, and uh, um, yeah, so here we go. I'll introduce you to Will and he can tell you a little bit about his background and uh, how he got to where he's at and where we're at. And uh, we'll show you our new product. Sounds good. Everybody, welcome Will to the show. <laughs> good afternoon. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. Appreciate it, and uh, thanks for the introduction. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Matt did a great job. Basically, that we uh, have helmet products that we've been marketing and selling to the law enforcement and military uh, community, both domestically and internationally. Uh, he comes walking into my office one day, basically, and <laughs> was like, "How come you guys aren't selling to general aviation? How do we get these?" Uh, and it was really a matter of bandwidth. We're a small company and uh, pick and choose your battles. And we just hadn't broken into that market yet. As Matt explained what they do, their customer base, their expertise, uh, it really did sound like a great uh, a match on getting the product over to the general aviation. So we looked at all of our current products. Some of those you see behind us, uh, you'll see a lot of them, with, you know, military heritage as we've, we've built for that. Talked about what might need to be a little bit different for the general aviation market, what those customers wanted. And uh, here's kind of what we came up with. So hopefully that shows up well with the back, uh, black background. Nice. Very yeah. nice. So, uh, so can, can I assume, uh, being that there's a great big, huge American flag on the wall, and this is military um, roots, that this is sourced in the U.S., made in the U.S.? Tell me about that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, a lot of it's sourced within driving distance of where we're standing right now here in Mooresville. Um, carbon fiber is all made here. All the webbing is mil spec. So the mil spec stuff is made uh, here in the U.S. Uh, you know, the liners, the, the uh, padding inside is all made here. Uh, it's all made to our specification. We own all the intellectual property. There's a couple of components that we buy as you know, commercial off the shelf and integrate. Uh, 
maybe one of the exceptions for being made in the U.S. would be the circuit boards and the active noise reduction or something, you know, at that level. But everything else is made here. Okay. Can you turn it uh, forward so we can see the lens on it, the forward facing view of it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's, so it's a very, uh, yeah, very military helicopter esque looking helmet there. I'll, I'll put it back to you, uh, the big screen there. There you go. So what is the overall weight of this assembled uh, assembly of this uh, advanced lightweight helmet or ALH, I guess, is a the technical so acronym have, for it. We have a gram scale here and we were trying to figure out how to how to do it and, and show you in the camera, but we can't. But we, we weighed it beforehand. Uh, and obviously, when you get it, you can weigh it yourself. But but uh, with the two yeah. versions that we have, which is uh, our OEM and and Will can go into what we mean by OEM headsets and then a bow. So we have a comparison between the two and they're what? Yeah, for sure. So with the, the OEM active noise reduction with gel ear seals, which adds a little bit of weight, it's right at about 2.5 pounds. Uh, the Bose is actually a little bit lighter and we're about 2.3 uh, with Bose headsets integrated. Um, awesome. Awesome. So so tell me some of the things because I've seen out there on social media, a couple different companies advertising these now, especially for uh, bush planes and stole planes. So tell me what might set uh, your design apart from some of these others we've seen out there. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, to kind of tell the story of how we got here, I, I'm not a designer or manufacturer by trade. Uh, I'm a pilot been flying airplanes for a living since I was 16 or 17. Uh, I spent about 10 years in the Middle East flying, uh, you know, every day, every night wearing helmets. And not to get too far into it, but over the course of several years, I had every helmet you could imagine. I bought French helmets, English helmets. I was issued American uh, fixed and rotor wing helmets, skateboard helmets with NVG mounts zip tied on them. Uh, and none of them quite made me happy. There was things I liked about each, um, but not everything. So the way this started unintentionally uh, was I started you know, at nighttime playing around ordering David Clark headsets off the internet and soldering them in and, and changing stuff. And slowly guys started bringing me their helmets, asking me to modify them. Um, and that's kind of like, I never thought to turn it into a business. It was just, we were trying to make a better piece of kit to make us more comfortable so we could go out and fly all night is really how it started. And 2015 or so, uh, I moved back to the U S uh, uh, had a full-time job, but founded this company, Airborne Tactical Solutions, uh, with my business partner, Dan. And we took all of those lessons learned from all the different helmets I've had over the years and decided that we could integrate all of that uh, with our own innovation and improvements and make a brand new helmet. So nice. this is a revamped, you know, SPH5 that a lot of companies sell. This is a brand new uh, design, modern materials, uh, you know, modern CAD, all of that. So does this have its, its roots more from uh, rotor, rotor craft, rotor wing, or fixed wing, or does it really matter? And I assume a helicopter has different sounds and stuff like that for, I don't know. It's a great question. Uh, I, haven't so wore, I haven't wore a helmet. I haven't had the need to wear a helmet. So it's it's a brand new world to me. So yeah. Well, I hope you never actually need it, but I uh, hope you'll start wearing one. Um, that's a great question. And this was always designed to be both. So in the military world, uh, take the U.S. military, the jet helmets are designed for ejection. So they're not an impact protection helmet per se. They're designed to protect the aviator in a 600 knot ejection. Uh, the rotor wing helmets are really designed for impact, but they're quite big and bulky. So this kind of bridges the gap as a cross-platform uh, helmet. Uh, and we've done a lot of testing to be able to actually pass some of the impact and penetration requirements of both the fixed wing and the rotor wing side. Um, it's a very modular design. So I guess this really answers that question as well. Uh, it's hard to have one helmet that does everything. So what a, a, a guy in a, a C-130 or a Super Cub needs isn't the same as a guy in a Black Hawk or a Robinson or whatever. Uh, so it's modular by nature. I'll give you an example, this carbon fiber cover here. This is the one that we developed for the general aviation market. Um, but if you wanted to add an NVG mount, maybe that one is down. You, you mentioned an NGB or something before. Can you can Sorry. you uh, tell us what that is? There you go. Night vision goggle. So uh, military guys, generally, if you fly at night, you're flying with night vision goggles. NVG. Um, okay. Night Sorry vision goggles. Yeah. Night NVG. vision goggles. Cool. Very cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. So modular design. You can start off with this helmet. Maybe your mission changes uh, somewhere down the road. It's modular. You can add parts later and upgrade. 
Um, so, so for the stole guy or bush guy that really wants to go hunting and, and get a jump on the game, he can get one of those. The butch Kingston's of the world. They need that. <laughs> well, that's in the winter time. Yeah. Don't let us lay down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then also, you know, forward compatibility. So let's say, uh, three years from now, Garmin comes out with a heads up display that syncs to your flight stream and your AHARs, whatever's next. Um, good point. Inherently got a design where literally four screws come off. This entire front assembly comes off and whatever it is that comes out next, we can design to you don't have to replace your helmet or system it goes right back on. Um, okay. So are these, um, next question, I guess to ask, are these certified or if, if not, or if so, what's the process of, of going through to either test or certify such a product like that? Uh, that's actually a, a good question as well. So in the past, it's been really difficult to answer that question up until a year or two ago. Uh, the military has military specifications or purchase descriptions that give you impact and speed requirements and the type of anvil to hit. You can do all those tests, but you don't walk away from it with a certification. You don't get a piece of paper that says you're certified. You get a bunch of test results. So it's been a challenge in the industry. However, the U.S. Department of Interior and the U.S. Forest Service recognize these shortcomings that their pilots didn't have access to approved helmets because there were no approved helmets um, other than mil-spec stuff. So to answer your question, the Department of Interior published a specification for aviation helmets. Um, and we are in the process right now of building helmets to send to the lab to test and certify that. So you can expect to see that certification this fall. And all of the military testing we've done for other customers uh, is very similar, in some cases more stringent than that. And we've passed all of that with flying colors. So it's not, uh, in my mind, so much of a question of if, but when we get that. So we're scheduled this fall and we will have a, a DOI certification. Okay, I've got, uh, I think an excellent comment here from Ring and Constitution, I'll put it up on the screen here. So do not eject from rotorcraft, rotor aircraft. <laughs> you, you, you can do it once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably some wisdom in that. So uh, thanks for sharing that there. Um, let's see, uh, just because of where you're at, uh, I have to ask, have, have you tested this in a race car yet, Matt? <laughs> no, no, I'm a uh, different purpose, <laughs> different mission. Uh, not one that I probably would one day, but uh, I, I, I trust me, I've tested this myself and uh, uh, it works. So, <laughs> um, Hey, so I wanted to touch bases real quick. So I don't know if you could see this finish uh, on here, but but it comes with, uh, you know, our carbon uh, finish, regular weave. It's weave. kind of a matte satin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can our, see that, yeah. That's our uh, OEM. When I say OEM, uh, Will can kind of get into the OEM specs real quick uh, about the headsets and the integration. Uh, but this is the way it comes. If you need a color to match your, your airplane, uh, we've got or some uh, accents or something to it or whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So this is a gray one uh, that we did. Uh, um, and then there's a blue one back there, but, but there's many, many options. Uh, it's upgradable. Uh, and, and as Will says, there's a lot of uh, options uh, as far as accessories. And he's got a couple of them uh, right here. This is a, uh, a night, a night light uh, for the rail mount. Uh, we have a GoPro mount. If you want to GoPro mount on the front of your helmet, uh, the foam inserts, I don't know if you could see this uh, foam inserts or not, but there's uh, foam inserts here uh, that are adjustable for the different heads. And, and when you order it, we send a build sheet with the, uh, for you to give us the size and dimensions of your, of your skull. And that way we can kind of get it close. And then these little pads uh, well, we will fit from there. In fact, there's a question here from Neil put up on the screen, uh, screen here as a former Air Force pilot, our helmets were custom fit to our heads. How can a generic helmet be comfortable for extending wear without getting hot spots, et cetera, which is basically what you just answered. Yeah. 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 So it comes with these, uh, we, we take, we get a measurement from the form that we send to you. We build it to those specifications. And then if you need to make adjustments, you, uh, we have padded inserts, uh, to Let go with that. Jump in for one. Yeah. So that's a great question. Like the HG 55 P that I'm sure he flew in the air force, uh, had some custom sizing options. Uh, we call this the tri-fit comfort liners because there's three pieces. There's a front, a top, and a rear, and they come in thicknesses from a quarter inch, three eighths, half, and five eighths. And you can mix and match. When we do the, the impact testing, we use the thinnest one. So we pass kind of worst case scenario. Uh, me personally, I'll wear a quarter inch top and rear and a three eighths in the front to kind of fill that gap. So it has a lot of custom, uh, custom ability. 
And then it's a Visco Alaskas memory foam that by its very nature. Uh, Visco, Visco Alaskas. Visco Alaskas. Is that Latin, Italian, or Greek? Or? Uh, it's made up. Yeah. More Uh We okay. all have different shells too. So the different sizes have different shell sizes. So this is a large and, uh, and we can go from small, which hardly nobody uses into an extra large. I, I wore a 55 P for many years as well, flying goggles every night. Uh, I think that that is a comfortable helmet. It's a very light helmet because again, it's not so much for impact. It's an injection helmet, but uh, I think you'll find the comfort of this is absolutely on par with that, if not better. And the ear cups are adjustable. When yeah, of course that. the ear cups are adjustable. We use gel, uh, you know, foam is a little lighter, but we use gel ear seals because it does such a good job with noise attenuation. Sure. Um, nape strap is adjustable. So, and it's in-flight adjustable. So the nape strap is what sits down on the nape of your neck and you can see I can crank that down if I want, or I can back it off and loosen it up. So I can do that on the fly versus, especially the legacy Air Force stuff you have to do. It's really a, a ground-based. Excellent, excellent. Third Wheel Adventures has a comment. Can you use your own headset and then ask after that sizing and pricing? Uh, you, if you have a twenties and you send them in, we can integrate them into this helmet. Uh, currently right now we have two options. We have our OEM, uh, headset and interface, and that is with uh, a Lima plug, uh, dual plug, uh, and a power pack. Or if you have uh, A20s, we can integrate them, or we can build you a new helmet with a new set of A20s. And for those of us that are new to the headset world, what is an A20 or who makes the A20? The Bose offers a headset, uh, and, and the nomenclature is an A20 uh, nomenclature. So it's a Bose A20 is what we currently offer. Um, in, in these configurations. Yeah. And that's going to have, I mean, all the options that the, those headsets have, but they're available with Bluetooth, you know, single plugs for helicopter, dual plugs, or the what's becoming the standard as the Limo plug, six pins, so you don't have to change batteries all the time. And, and to add to that, the diff, what we're calling our OEM is what Will's been using in the military side of the world uh, for as long as he's been building helmets. There is nothing that an A20 offers that our OEM doesn't. It's just your preference. Okay. Okay. And then the question was, uh, of course, you know, what are the starting prices of these? I'm sure there's oh, options. Well, Eric, jump in here. He's a, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, was, I thought I was here just to be pretty. <laughs> uh, so starting uh, price. Just to be pretty, Eric. Yeah, yeah, you're a hand yeah. model and a head model. Why don't you put one of these on? Yeah, there you go. I, I can do that right here in a minute. That's <laughs> what they're going to talk. So our introductory price um, is for the OEM stuff is 2380 And with the A20, uh, integrated. Now I can't hear anything. Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Um, uh, with the A20 integrated, it's 3380. And okay. I really can't hear anything. Yeah. We can say whatever we want. Yeah, that's right. Say anything that's you right. want to about me right now. Yeah. <laughs> it looks scary. Yeah. That, is, that is awesome. You're going to keep that for Halloween coming up here very shortly, right? That's it. Um, well, cool. So, is there any other questions? Are we are we uh, are you satisfied with our our presentation and uh, our first launch of this thing. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, that's really impressive. I like the look of it for sure. I don't have any other questions at the moment. Um, so two things, comments. Two things, real quick. Want to add? Uh, first thing is, uh, you ask about the Arkansas thing. We'll, we will definitely be there. We're actually delivering our first batch of helmets. Uh, some of these helmets you see behind us are going to customers. Uh, we'll be able to take orders. Uh, www.bushhelmets.com uh, is our website, or you can go to uh, www.acmeaerofab.com. You can call us, look us up. Uh, but one thing that we all collectively, uh, and they might be looking at me like I'm crazy. That we all <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, that we all collectively came together last night. Yeah. And I think uh, we, we offer, just like we offer up all, on all of our other products, we stand behind them 100%. If you have an accident in your airplane, and uh, uh, obviously you're protected with the helmet. Um, if you have a crash and, um, and you should send your helmet back in and we'll take care of it free of charge. So uh, we don't want you flying with a damaged helmet. We want to protect you just like you want to be protected. We don't think there's another helmet company in the industry now offering that. And we wanted to offer that to our customers. They pay a lot of money for these helmets and we want to make sure that they have the best product on the market. So if you have an accident, uh, in your airplane, uh, and you don't feel comfortable with your helmet, send it back and we'll refurbish it. Uh, if we can't refurbish it, we'll replace it free of charge. 
Excellent. Excellent. Sounds good. For those of you that don't know, next week, what he's talking about Arkansas in Arkansas, there is a, a flying at the Birds Adventure Center that many, many people in the Stoll world are going to compete. In fact, I think there's a waiting list and a backup list for competition because so many people are interested in going. So you will have a booth there. Yep. Be on site to shake hands and show off the product. There. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll all be there. Hey, and one last thing, sh shameless plug while we have everybody. <laughs> we um, we have our Acme swag up on the website now. We yeah. get emails nonstop about <laughs> Acme stuff. It's on the website, so you can order it on the website now. It's there. We'll also have it at Arkansas with us. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I got a shirt or two from you guys. Last time I was there, my wife stole it from me, so now that's she wears that to bed. I need to get some more. Yeah, I told her she's gonna have to. She keeps wearing it. She's gonna have to start modeling it. Yeah. Being on camera, you know, but at least tag us on IG or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Well, if there's nothing else to add at the moment, guys, thank you for uh, being able to get on, on on camera with me today and talk about this awesome new product. It does look amazing. I'm excited for you to bring this to market and looking forward to seeing you in person next week. Right. Yeah, man. Cool deal, man. Hang out. Thanks, thanks for, for your time, us. man. We really right. appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Brian. All right. Talk to you guys later on. See Take guys. care. See you.